So this is a movie review for Christians for a film called Top Gun. Actually, Top Gun 2. And I think everybody knows what it's all about. Well, I mean, anybody who's lived long enough. This is 36 years later. I was a freshman in college when the first one came out. So this is a flashback, flash forward. And, of course, Tom Cruise is the main character. Now he's an elderly, not senior citizen, but getting up there and... He thinks he's going to be called into service again to fly, but actually they want him to be a teacher. And I actually just watched the original Top Gun again on my cell phone on, on uh, Netflix just to freshen up on it because I knew this was coming out Memorial Day weekend. And so I remember now I was able to, you know, to connect all the dots right away. Uh, in the original film... Goose, a guy named Goose, one of uh, the flying partners of Maverick, dies and sends Maverick into a lot of uh, mental confusion and not even sure if he can fly again and this and that. And he bounces back. And, but now in the second film, his son, the son of Goose, is a top gun. And But there's tension between the two because... Maverick, before this film started back in the day, some, for some reason pulled the file of Goose, I mean Rooster, his name is Rooster, his son's name is Rooster, pulled his file because he didn't think Rooster was ready yet. Now, I don't want to give it away, but I should do a spoiler alert. Um, he th uh, Maverick thinks Rooster thinks too much. And one of the best lines in this second movie is at a point when Brewster actually uh, rescues Maverick. Maverick actually gets angry at Rooster and says, What were you thinking? And Rooster responds, You told me not to think. <laughs> that was one of the best moments. So, uh, anyways, this film, uh, I do movie reviews for Christians. I always say, Pray the movies. I was trying to think of things to pray about. Of course, pray for our, our military men and women, our defenders, and those who, who have died in action. We just celebrated uh, Memorial Day. And, of course, we pray for our um, bravery and courage to do what is right so that our wars are just wars. I think that's the thing to remember, to uh, emphasize that we enter into just wars. We don't use our military casually or for self-serving reasons, but for things that will please God. So Top Gun to me is a reminder of prayers for just wars. God bless you all. Enjoy the movie. Fun to watch. Uh, good old No Guts, No Glory American film from back in the day. Flash forward to 2022. We hope for more of that to come. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.